Hey, welcome back, Rankers. Jeez, a lot of people got a lot of interest in uh, last week's video about Fred. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, Fred was the, the name of the latest Google update on March 9. Um, it was known because Gary Elias was just been funny. Anyway, a um, lot of questions came out of that. We've helped a lot of people, as you can see here, uh, on the YouTube channel. Now, incidentally, um, for those of you who are new here, uh, this show's been going for about 13 years. We do a weekly video. It comes out every Tuesday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time. And then there's a newsletter that follows up that on a Wednesday morning. So if you want to find out then when the latest stuff's happening, then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching this on an embedded site, you just click on the uh, the YouTube link within the video. You can just subscribe to the YouTube channel there and you'll get all the updates there. Or you can go to stuartmedia.biz, S-T-E-W-A-R-T dot biz, and you can sign up there for our newsletter at Housekeeping Out of the Way. And please, if this has helped you and if you think it might help someone else, please share it. So some of the questions that came out um, were a bit basic, and I've answered a lot of those actually on the, the YouTube channel, but a few that um, required a little bit more explanation I just wanted to go through today. So what we're trying to do here, and this is just good practice, regardless of um, the March 9 update, this is just good practice to get rid of content that could be potentially duplicate. And for the most of the sites that I've looked at, there's been a, uh, a certain amount of duplication. Some of them just had odd problems like a 302 to a, uh, a, pay, a page that was no index and all sorts of um, silly things that um, probably weren't the, um, probably weren't, wasn't March 9 update um, that hit those sites. So the ones that uh, did get clobbered, it seems to be a, a range of quality issues. So one of those is duplication. And when I talk duplication, specifically tag pages. Uh, if you're on a WordPress environment, no index your tag pages. You don't have to remove, um, uh, you don't have to delete your tag pages, all right? Some people have thought that you've got to delete. You don't have to delete because if you delete, then you've got to um, uh, do redirects and all those sorts of things. So you don't actually have to delete your tag pages. What we're saying is, is if you're on WordPress, just no index those tag pages because for a lot of people, um, they'll only have one or two posts on a tag page and it represents you know, the, the first paragraph of the post itself. So it's just basically a duplication of the post. So, and it's of, not of much use for your readers either. So do that. Another question came out. Uh, this was from, it wasn't Andrew, it was from Richard, yeah. Uh, good question from Rich where he says, can you please explain uh, what stop Google crawling parameter pages means? Okay, so in some themes and in certainly a lot of e-commerce sites, uh, but specifically with this update, we were pretty much looking at WordPress sites, the one I saw that came through, which is something else. We didn't see any e-commerce sites get hit by this. Okay, so this is a good site to show some of the um, areas where parameters are really not helping your, your, your ranking. And this actually is another question from one of the bloggers. So if you are a blogger and you want to know more about SEO just for blogging and WordPress, head across to our bloggers SEO support group there on Facebook and we can help you out there. Now, uh, so this question was from Chuck and Chuck said, can you have a look at this? Um, this theme for us, is it any good for SEO? And I'm, I'm told him what I didn't like about it for SEO, but it has a good example of these parameter pages. So quite often, they're just being used in a theme to sort, basically. So you can see here, we've got this page, but essentially it's got pretty much similar content to what the page would be without that parameter query. And what's doing it is this little function over here. So we can say, show me by review score. And you can see here we get by review and um, that's no post to display. So we're getting those filters can cause those sorts of problems, right? So essentially we have an empty page here um, and we don't need it. So it's those sorts of things that I wanna get rid of. So for me in this situation, um, you can do, um, 
possibly two things. Certainly one of the things that you can do, which Google recommends you to do, is using the uh, parameter <laughs> section in Google Search Console. So in Google Search Console, under Google Index, no, not under Google Index, where is it? This, ah, crawl. Under crawl, we've got parameters, URL parameters. You can go in there and you can tell Google not to crawl these sorts of parameters. Um, now, if you're not used to using this area of Google Search Console, it's kind of for advanced users, so you could stuff things up if you do it, um, if you don't do it properly. But in here, you can say, you know, Google, ignore these parameter pages or let Google bot decide, and that's what I mean by about uh, talking about getting rid of parameters. And the reason I, I think it's not just duplication of content, but I think it's near duplication, say, of page titles and those sorts of things as well, because uh, from our, our own experience, we had a phrase drop and one go up. So, for instance, let's have a look at this SEO agency's Melbourne phrase. So this was on March 9. And if, um, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that we don't necessarily chase SEO phrases for us. They're good because they're great for bragging rights, but we don't get the right sort of client. So, um, so this phrase was just in our monitoring. And I was just going through and checking all the monitoring. And I saw this one and it went on March 9, we dropped significantly to 70. Right, and it was for SEO agencies Melbourne. I thought, well, why the hell's that? And the reason that I could, the only reason I can put it down to is that it was for, the, well, I know it was for this page because this was the ranking page, if you can t say 30 was ranking. But this is just a transcript of a video. So a couple of years ago, we decided to do transcripts of the video and write a blog post. Now we pretty much only do the transcripts. So this is a near duplication of a page title. And there is another page just like it with uh, the word video transcript in it. So if you are doing those sorts of things where you've got new, near duplicate page titles, you've got um, tag pages, you've got pagination on your block like someone else was talking about that. Um, the way to handle pagination is you use um, the parameter, uh, rel, uh, sorry, uh, rel equals previous and next. You could look those up, use those for your pagination on your blog. Hopefully that's helpful. If we haven't answered everything, um, just keep leaving the comments on this video and we'll get to them one by one. I'm really curious to find out, uh, like one of the client, one of the uh, the guys that has come back, he's only so far come back in Australia for his rankings. He hasn't come back in the US yet. So if you are still experiencing problems, let us know because we'd love to take a look and get to the bottom of it. Thanks very much and we'll see you next week.